Kumari, Keeper of the Moon Shadow Land. Welcome to my realm. Many moons have waxed and waned since human foot last trod this earth. Weary travelers, I welcome you now to the land of the moon shadow. Enlighten me. What desire opened the moon shadow window on this night? No words. Your shoes can tell the tale. So, Pavan longs to be reunited with his dearly beloved Sasha. You stand amazed, mouths agape in wonderment. Ah, forgive me, I have yet to uncloud your eyes. Children of the light of day, do you believe that memories are yours alone? Your clothes, houses, tables and chairs, the sky, the land. They too remember each passing day. Silently, they sleep in a dream world of memories. The moon's light may give shape to these dreams, these memories. I cannot stir this daughter of the sun from her eternal sleep, but perhaps I can end your friend's waking nightmare. Lead me to the castle. Lead me to the scene of Pavan's misery. Grieving soul, may the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. You so 
these two years, I've thought of nothing but you. Ever since you passed away. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh yes, I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Is that... me? Yes. I remember this. It was the spring before last. <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush now, Pavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear King, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I decided. Yes, she was always like that, always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha, why? <laughs> Sasha, why are you always so strong? Because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child, so weak and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely. But then I realized, if I went back to my old weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. I remember. Everything you ever told me lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. 
I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. At last, I've finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. Never again will I forget the things Sasha told me. It felt like a dream, but I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, Please do not hesitate to ask. I swear I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon.
all right for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. And the deer isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? I know how you feel, Grandad. If only you weren't so uh, green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Wait, Gov. I've got an idea. The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure, Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in, no problem. Old Granddaddy will be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something, dead sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick!